Welcome to the Prompt Engineering channel. Learn how to create digital avatars like me with open source and absolutely free tools. In this video, I'll teach you how to create your own digital avatars using open source tools. And guess what? You don't need to spend a penny on expensive softwares like DID or any other paid tools. I'll walk you through a four-step process that's super easy to follow. If you will use Midjourney or any of the other free alternatives to create an image, then we will convert this to a 3D animation. Next, we will use 11 Labs to convert uh, text to speech. So this text can be written by ChatGPT, or, or you can create your own. And we will combine and we will combine it at all to create a talking avatar using an awesome open sourced and free tool. Plus, we have got a bonus step at the end, so don't miss it. So follow along and create your very own free digital avatar. So let's go. So step one, we need an image for our digital avatar. Here I'm using Midjourney, but you can use any of the other AI image generator. Or even if you have your own images, you can use those. So this is the prompt that I'm using. I will put this in the video description. Now, this is the image that I actually uh, selected based on uh, the previous generation. So for example, here are four images. And out of those, I selected this one. Now, one thing you want to be careful about is you want to make sure that uh, your avatar or your image has uh, the mouth open and the teeth are showing. This is going to be critical and when we animate this. So keep that in mind. So let me store this image. So I'm going to right click on it. Save image as I will store this image. Okay, so step two, we want to add some mo motion to our image. So for this, we will be using this um, free service called a Leapix Converter. This will add a 3D movement to our image. So click upload, select the image, and then uh, there are a whole bunch of options. I have a detailed video coming up on this, so I'm going to put a link to that video. Uh, but basically, there are a couple of options that we are interested in. So first is the length of animation, so duration. For example, we want to select the maximum in this case, so that's six seconds. And you see like it already started animating our, our image, right? The next one is um, the type of animation that you want, right? So for example, if I click horizontal, it simply uh, move the image horizontally, but I like this uh, tall circle. So select either tall circle or vertical. Maybe actually uh, vertical might be better. Okay, so let's select vertical. Then what you want to do is come here, uh, click this share. Now we are going to store this as an MP4 file. So essentially what happened here was it converted our 2D image into a 3D uh, video. All right, so click save. I'm going to name it as an output output underscore video and you need to make sure that the file name is output underscore video because we will need this specific file name okay so click save that will save our uh, video and I can actually play this so let me open this up and here's the file right so now we have two assets uh, first was the image and the second is the video okay so step three uh, now we need some audio and that we want to use uh, in our digital avatar. So for that, we'll be using 11 Labs. I have already made a video on it, so I'm going to put um, the link to that video. So it's going to be somewhere at the top. It's a, a text to speech converter. Uh, so when you need an account, so once you log in, you will see a screen like this. So here you can type in, type in your text and uh, here you can select different uh, voices. Uh, for example, I used this in one of my videos before. Uh, and you can also select different settings for the audio. Uh, let's see, this is going to be my text. So, welcome to Prompt Engineering channel. Learn how to create digital avatars like me with open source and absolutely free tools. Uh, subscribe to the channel and hit that notification button for more awesome button for more awesome content. Probably it is going to sound better uh, with this 11 apps. Okay, so in order to generate the, um, the speech, all you need to do is simply click generate and let's wait for it. Okay, so it seems like it generated the audio. So let's play this. Welcome to the Prompt Engineering channel. Learn how to create digital avatars like me with open source and absolutely free tools. Subscribe to the channel and hit that notification button for more awesome content. Okay, so let's uh, download this. So I'm going to store it in the same folder, but I want to label this as a input audio need to change this mp3 format to wave so let's select all and let's change this to wave okay click save so that will download our audio so that completes our um, step three just make sure 
at the end of step three, you have two files. One is input underscore audio dot wave, and the, the second file is output underscore video uh, dot mp4. Now in step four, we are going to put both of them together. So in step number four, we are going to be putting everything together. We will combine both the audio and the video. One option is to use uh, tools such as DID. DID is a paid tool and it can be pretty expensive. I have a video on it. If you guys are interested, check that out. In this video instead, we are going to be using this tool called wave to lip It's an open source uh, uh, model that is available on GitHub. So I'm going to put a link to this in the description of the video. So the wave to lip model basically takes a video without sound and an audio and then lip sync the videos to the audio. So, and that is the reason why in step number two, you can convert it, convert it out a static image into a, a 3D video. Now, if you check out uh, the links over here, they have provided the link to the paper, which is actually a fascinating read. So if you are interested, check this out. This is a great read and there is a wealth of knowledge in it. Now, the great thing about this is you can actually download the source code. So everything is available here and you can run it locally, but they have provided two uh, online environments where you can test it. So one is this interactive demo and the other one is a Google Colab that you can uh, use for your own data set. Uh, this interactive demo is limited in terms of uh, how long the video can be and Google Colab you can do uh, any length you want. So I'm going to walk you through both the process. The interactive demo is the easiest one. So let's click on this. All right, so here's the interactive demo. Uh, you notice there, uh, they're saying that if you run this locally, you can attempt to uh, lip sync high resolution and longer videos. In this interactive demo, there is limit of 20 seconds, but if you run it locally, you would be able to actually use this on a higher duration videos. So our test audio is around um, 11 seconds. So it will work uh, perfectly on that. So now first you need to select uh, the video file. So here's our video file. And then you need to select your audio file. They don't have to be exactly the same length. So in this case, our video file is around six seconds long, uh, whereas our audio file is around 11 seconds long. So it doesn't matter if they are not of the uh, same lead. Then you need to click on sync this pair. So here are our results. Welcome to the Prompt Engineering channel. Learn how to create digital avatars like me with open source and absolutely free tools. Subscribe to the channel and hit that notification button for more awesome content. Just a couple of things to uh, note. It's an interactive demo. So the results are uh, limited to 480p resolution, right? If you run it locally, you can get a high resolution um, video and then it's cropped at the maximum of 20 seconds. A pretty good job of syncing the lips and the audio. And it looks a lot more natural. Uh, like there are definitely no eye movements because our input video didn't have any eye movements. But if you look at it, there is like minute movement of the cheeks as well. So it, I think it's, it's pretty natural. And the, uh, you will notice that because of our uh, step number two, where we converted this uh, image into uh, a 3D video, it seems to have more natural movements as well, like the movements of the head that we would expect. Okay, then let me download this file. We are going to do one bonus step that I'm calling step number five. But before that, I also want to show you how can you uh, run this demo on a much larger file using the Google Colab. But if you're not interested, just skip ahead to the next section. All right, so we're going to be using this uh, updated Google uh, Colab. Click on this. Now, if you are not familiar with Google Colab, it's actually uh, an environment provided by Google uh, where you can run different machine learning models, right? So you need to do a couple of steps. First, come here, change the uh, runtime environment. Make sure the GPU is selected, okay? So click Save then come here and hit connect so there are different code blocks that you need to run so anything that has this play button that's a code code block so let's say let's first click on this play button that will install the wave to clip uh, model so it will ask you to run it and it could give us this warning and just click run anyway so it's basically starts downloading all the required Python files as well as like all the libraries that are needed and it will start installing them. So this process will take a few seconds. Just be patient with this. 
Now when a uh, code block runs execution, you will see this green check mark. Now let's go and click on this second uh, play button. So this will uh, ask us to actually upload our uh, files, right? So this is the input underscore audio and input underscore video. Click open. It will upload both files. So this is done uploading. One thing you will notice is there's a table of contents and each step that you are in, it actually shows the corresponding documentation. So that's pretty nice. Next, we will run the wave to live model on our uh, video and audio. So click this play button again and it starts executing the code. So this will uh, take a minute or so. Okay, so the execution of this block is complete. Now let's uh, go to the third one. That's basically is going to play a synced video. So click on this. All right, so here's the video. Let's see what the results look like. Welcome to the Prompt Engineering channel. Learn how to create digital avatars like me with open source and absolutely free tools. Subscribe to the channel and hit that notification button for more awesome content. Okay, so this seems to be very similar to what we just saw with the interactive demo. All right, next we want to download the files. So just run this and it will uh, download it locally, right? So that's our downloaded file. Let's just play it to make sure that it works. Welcome to the Prompt Engineering channel. Learn okay, all right, uh, this works. I'm not gonna play it again. And let's close this. Okay, next you want to run um, this number five. So it's basically deletes uh, all the files from your Google Drive because you already have it downloaded uh, to your computer. There are some other uh, code blocks that you can run. These are different uh, variations of the model play around with, but I'm not gonna do that. The output resolution is 480 uh, but you can use, uh, let's say, tools like Topaz Lab to actually improve its resol output resolution. So it, you can uh, take it to full HD or even 4K resolution from that. Uh, one last step that I'm going to do, which will help us with the resolution, is running through running it through a thin plate spline model. So in one of my previous videos, I, I showed this model. I'll put a link to the video. Basically, the idea is you take an image, you have a video, and you want to animate that uh, image using this video right so it's it's a sort of defect so what we're going to do is we are going to select our output image oh sorry output uh video right so this is our output video and then we are going to select our uh, original image right uh and just recreate this i have welcome to the prompt engineering channel sorry like i have uh, found that it actually helps in improving the resolution of the output right so our input image is going to be the original image that was created with mid journey our driving video is the video uh, that we just created then simply click submit all right this will take a few minutes so here is our outcome it works on face detection so that's why it cropped the um, video but let's download this so we'll click download and i'm going to save this as a output all right so here is our final output this is from the model so you see the, the lips are a little bit blurred. Uh, and this one is from the uh, final step, the uh, template spine method. Uh, the, the difference may not be no noticeable, but I like to run it through this uh, final step. I hope you found the video helpful. Uh, if you did, please consider subscribing uh, and turn on the bell notification button. Uh, thanks for watching. See you in the next one.